hi there welcome to neo 2 tutorial in this video we'll learn what is neo 2 and what is new in jdk 7 so let's start with so neo stand with asynchronous nio so prior to nio 2 we have buffer channel and selectors for asynchronous io communication so what Neo2 offer is file system, channel API, and miscellaneous. File system API will deal with the new package java.neo.file and it is a replacement of java.io.file. Channel API will deal with socket channel and asynchronous IO, the new way of writing IO programming. And there are few protocol update SDB and STP will cover in next slide. So what is the purpose of NIO2? Move from java.io.file to java.nio.file. This is the one objective achieved in JDK 7 that a new file API has been given that is more efficient than java.io.file why so let's take this so what we needed is something better than java.io.file so what is missing so limited support for symbolic links limited support for file attributes performance issues doesn't work consistently across the platforms missing basic operation file copy move etc so these are the few points and uh, we have more uh, captured only few bullets points here that nio.java.nio.file offer so new file system is defined in jsr-203 and it gives new packages so one package is java.neo.file which have the following interfaces and these classes and these enums the next package is java.nio.file attribute which has the attribute related interfaces interfaces and builder classes So these two new packages define in JDK 7. So let's go one by one. So the JDK 7 offer a new file system API which consists of file store, path, files and file system. So the new API will say file, file store, file system, path. So there are other also like link permission, simple, visit, simple file visitor and standard watch event kinds. So let's take what is a file system. So in a file system, serve as a factory where we'll have a path, file store, path matcher, watch service and user principal lookup services and there will be a provider so this provider will base on the operating system if you're using mac it will be mac os provider if you're using linux it will linux os provider like that so path the path api is immutable and it create from the path string or uri it's defined method to access and manipulate paths defined method to access files and it is interoperable with file.2path method so this api is the key of file system api everything will start from the path so this is a one example of path api to create a file and directory so first we'll trying to create the directory will take help of path api and will give the directory path and get the path then we use files.create directory and the directory will be created next we have a create file this also uses file system 
dot get default so it will give the default file system based on your operating system and then it will get the path so once you get the file you can create a file using the file path another copy example is file system dot get default dot get path the location and then files dot copy this file and copy file another example is copy directory again the path api is used will get the path and the location then the new directory the get the default and get path and the location then use file dot copy d1 and new directory so you can there is also a note no file should be copied in this case only directory will be created the path api also offer recursive operation using walk file tree there is two overridden method walk file tree uh, so this method walks a file tree rooted at a given starting file so this is similar to dfs depth first search operation and both through iu exception so this is used when we want to delete file recursively or do some operations on a file system so let take one example of recursive file delete example so first we'll get the path api we will start with temp so we're using files dot walk file tree we're using this walk file tree its turn type is path and it accept a file visitor okay so it takes the path and accept a file visitor in this case i am using simple file visitor so it has a callback method of visit file and post visit directory and what operation you have to perform okay so if file is directory then you can say file visit dot continue post visit directory if you are visiting a file a delete a file then you can return what operation you have to perform in this case i am continuing if i am visiting the directory i'll delete directory and continue so these are the uh, overridden method which uses uh, basic file attributes and a path api and uh, we can also restrict with uh, continue terminate six skip sub trace skip sub link so these are the few enums defined based on which we can return okay so this is a very simple example of recursive file delete example uh, next important main concept is stream io uh, in this case we have a buffered io random access io async communication writing a file reading a file asynchronous file channel and source directory so stream io is well defined in an io prior to jdk 7 so what's new here is uh, asynchronous file channels these are the uh, new concept and we are using a new buffered reader and new buffered writer so let's go one by one so in jdk 1.6 if we want to read a file using buffered io we used to create a new buffered reader in uh, jdk 7. and i2 version we'll use files dot new buffer reader and provide the path okay so this is the fundamental difference from jdk 1.6 to jdk 1.7 similarly for the writing purpose in jdk 1.6 we take help of buffer writer we create a new object of buffer writer and we provide file writer and then the file then we write in jdk 7 will take help of files dot new buffer writer and file with the default character set and uh, what option you have to give append okay in random access io in jdk 1.6 if we have to move around the file we create a random access file object and we open in the mode in this case we are in read write mode then we can move using seek okay random dot seek 200 in uh, jdk 7 and i2 again the path from the path api will get the file path and then we'll use a seekable byte channel 
okay uh, using ckl white channel we can go to the directly to position and then we can read okay so this is the this is how random access io works in uh, new jdk 7 and i2 version uh, next important stuff is asynchronous io so in nio you use uh, channel selectors to make new asynchronous so in that way we write more code and uh, the debugging will be difficult so what the goal here is to provide async io api to both sockets and file so api is based on the future style that will initiate io operation returning java dot util dot concurrent dot future and this future interface define method to test or wait for completion so and the second api goal is callback style so it will in the callback we will wait for the event the completion handlers when invoking the i operation so we'll invoke completion handler and uh, and anything fails of i operation fails or complete then also we invoke the callback style so the in this case asynchronous io the api style is future and callback okay in nio we use uh, selectors channels to make asynchronous nio so let's take one example so this is a client socket where we are creating a client socket using asynchronous socket channel and we are binding to a port then we will initiate the connection and wait for connection to establish a failure then we use future api to, to say client to connect to this address and uh, using the future api we will get and wait if necessary for the competition to complete and then finally we'll retrieve the result so on the server socket we'll create asynchronous server socket channel create a listener and we will open and bind bind a port to this server socket channel will listen then we'll bind then we'll accept and we are listening a completion handler event okay so in this we have a callback of completed there is other callback also available and in this case we are taking help of future api to read the buffer and if the buffer is available we'll process it so this is looks very straightforward compared to nio where we have to create a channel socket selectors so this is uh, less coding and uh, more readability towards the code so this is all about async io uh, next is file attribute so file attributes typically deal with uh, who is owning the file the permissions timestamp the disk operating system attributes and the externals and there is some metadata associated with the file so this all defined a file attribute so new the this package java dot neo dot file dot attribute deal with uh, the acl file attribute views basic file attribute views dos file attribute views the file owner file attribute views posix owner file attribute views and user defined attribute views so these apis are defined under this file attributes important api uh, let's take it help take example of basic file attribute so basic file attribute uh, in this case i am taking example of uh, what is the last access time for a file so to get we'll take the help of a path api we are taking t2.txt and uh, opening this file with the uh, get file attribute view so once this view is open we'll read all the attributes and uh, we'll say what is the last modified time the creation time so basic file attributes we have checked 
example of POSIX file attribute view uh, POSIX style means uh, line Unix OS OS X style so this is the example of adding a permission to a file so the same if you want to add a permission to t2.txt okay so we will get the file attribute view and we will open POSIX file attribute view dot class earlier in basic file we are opening with basic file attribute view dot class in this case we are opening with POSIX file attribute view dot class so once we get the attribute view we can uh, read the attributes and from the we'll get the permissions and we can add the permissions so you can add the whatever one is like read write uh, read execute in this case i'm adding uh, owner execute finally we'll set the permission to this file so this is an example of POSIX file attribute view uh, next changes is watch service uh, watch service based on the uh, so this API is used for file chain notification so in this case uh, when we want to watch any directory content is changed or added or deleted we can uh, use this uh, watch service API so it will always generate an event whenever following entries are done like entry create entry delete entry modify and overflow is happened there are other protocol features in JDK 7 like uh, SDB socket direct protocol in FIMAND. So this is a standard wire protocol over IB for stream oriented socket. It used for int user internet protocol addressing and use existing networking or socket channel API. There is a another protocol SCTP stream control transfer protocol. So which support uh, blocking and non-blocking modes and uh, one to main style similar to UDP there are also multicast new way of multicast handling has been done in uh, JDK 7 for more references do refer to uh, the JSR page and the project page thanks for watching the video do let me know if you have any queries or concern and don't forget to subscribe to channel Thank you.